after an unimpressive outing at the London 2012 Olympics, sport followers in Nigeria were optimistic for a positive change, but funding issues popped up again. With days to the commencement of the Rio Olympic Games, the football team got stranded in Atlanta and arrived in Brazil just a few hours before their opening match against Japan. The events of Atlanta, the theory of the team being stranded is a hoax. I got a phone call to say, please buy your flight, and I bought my flight and refund upon arrival into Rio, and I got here, and the officials had me running around for six days. And we get here, we're getting no support, we're running around chasing for money that we're owed, we're, but to, suffice it to say, it's very frustrating. The problem of funding isn't new to table tennis. Most of the tournaments Aaron O'Quadra and his peers are featured in are self-sponsored. A lot of times we'll have tournaments, everybody will be ready, visa will be ready at the end of the day. They'll set no money to sponsors and, and if you can, you can sponsor yourself, which, is, then, which they know that it's not possible. Guess what? Guess what? Boxing in Nigeria has been turned upside down. Only one boxer could make it to the Rio Olympics. Again, funding is the enemy. The preparation, I don't know where, I don't want, I, can, I just can't say what exactly is wrong with us as a people. If we don't want to do sports, for Christ's sake, let's shut our doors. But South Africa seems to be doing good with sports funding. The country's sports confederation and Olympic committee sent the nation's largest ever delegation to Rio. A total of 138 athletes, 93 men and 45 women competing across 15 sports. The Nigeria Olympic Committee has been having a series of meetings to address this funding issue for a country with a vast market. Why has sports funding been difficult to achieve? We will still go there in jaded uniforms. We will still go there with more officials than athletes. Nothing has changed and that's because we keep recycling the same people to handle the exercise. And it's very sad. What should the country start doing to address the problem? The private sector must be involved. You see, the federations must create an enabling environment for the private sector to come in. For any major international competition, it's not a tea party. You need four years, some serious countries eight years. So we need to really get serious in terms of our planning, in terms of scheduling. It's not necessarily about money. It's about budgeting and having a plan because other people can support. There have been constant calls on private organizations and individuals to support sports in Nigeria. Well, until those prospective sponsors can attest to credibility and accountability in the system, the problem of funding will persist. Austin Okonakban, Channel Television News.